We are here in New York City, a very special event. It's Super Bowl week in the Big Apple. All the stars and celebrities are on hand, including Marion Bartoli, Wimbledon champion. How does it feel to be here? Super Bowl, what a great event. Absolutely, I'm so thrilled to be in New York City for this super event. Obviously, the Super Bowl reminds me of the Women's Championship. It's really the best of the best, and you can see the buzz into the city. It's absolutely tremendous. So, so pleased and very happy to be here. And you've moved to New York as well. I mean, you must really love the city. What is it you like so much about the Big Apple? I do. Uh, I fell in love with our city when I was 16 years old, came here for the, my first U.S. Open, and I won the junior tournament, and I remember I, I fell in love with that city and it just remained the same. And um, when I finished my career, I really decided to move in here and get a place, and I think it was the right move to do. I think it was. Now, we'll talk about your career and what's going on, but first, let's talk about this. What have you brought here? You have these wings yes. with Seattle Seahawks Absolutely. logos on it. What's going on? Oh, uh, well, this is really my lucky charm. So um, I'm supporting the Seahawks, obviously, and uh, if someone can help me to find is this city my players? Mr. Wilson, I did some for the coach because I think the coach is extremely important just as in sports. So he has his own wing that says coach. And the famous quarterback as well, the number three somewhere. Ooh. I love it. I love it. This is great. Now, how did you think of the color? I know it is green, but that's a little bit of a different green. It's a very bright green that matches exactly the jersey. So it would go just like that. And I think that will make them fly. So scoring. Now you are a Wimbledon champion. Did you take some of the grass from center court and rub it on it for good luck? Yes, I did. I even take the exact same color of the green when I won and I hit the last ball. And I, believe me, the green is just looking as this color is story destroy. But it's really a lucky jump thing. Um, I was having some into my bag when I walked into the center court and obviously I won. So go Seahawks. Ooh, she's a Seahawks fan. Don't tell Peyton Manning, but a lot of people are rooting for the Seahawks. And you even said when you walked in here that it felt like a Grand Slam event. So how would you compare the Super Bowl to the U.S. Open? Yeah, it's it's very much the same. You have all the media attention. You have all the build-up. And obviously, we play nice session uh, towards the final Super Saturday. We have the semifinal of the men's and the women's final. It's a very large and massive event. And you can feel the same thing. It's just for one day here, though. U.S. Open go for two weeks, but you can feel the build up at just right now. It is pretty exciting. So what are you doing now in tennis? I know you have world team tennis coming up, and how's your game? What's going on with Marion Bartoli? My game, you might be able to beat me in those days. Oh, wow. That's a tough one. I don't know. <laughs> no, um, I'm still practicing. I love it still. Uh, just my shoulder sometimes is giving me some problems still, especially on my serve. But um, I love the game so much. I'm commentating. I just came back from Australia, commentating for Eurosport, and my best friend Dominika Sivolkova were wearing my wings, the yellow ones, the gold ones, make it to the final. So obviously it's really the Rocky Charm thing, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy to still have a, an involvement into tennis and still be able to play a bit. Well, I love the wings. Marion Bartoli flying away with those, and you know, you're here in New York. Where, where else do you travel to? Where else? Everywhere. <laughs> I will be in Jamaica to meet Usain Bolt which is amazing wow. for me. We go to Hawaii. Give then him I, the wings. I do. I'm going to do some lights for him. Uh, then to Hawaii, then to Qatar, then back to Paris, Geneva, which is my other home, and uh, come back to New York. This is my town now. What do you like about the world team tennis schedule? You're with Andy Roddick. Tell me about that. Andy Roddick in July, right after Wimbledon. Wimbledon is on Saturday. The chairman already invited me for the Saturday final. Um, so obviously it's a massive honor, so I will be there. And I will play my first match on the Wednesday right after Wimbledon. Um, I'm very excited, super excited to play for this first time. I love Billie Jean King, um, love her so much. She was there for my final last year in Wimbledon. So it means a lot for me to play her competition because it's really her thing. And it's also team spirit, which is really cool and great. So a lot of fun coming up and um, very super exciting. Every point matters, every game matters in WTT. Are you ready for that? Absolutely, I will be. Don't worry about it. I will be fired up. Andy Roddick's a fun guy, though. I mean, he, you know, you're, you're pretty fun, too. Can you upstage Andy with the jokes? Oh, I, I kind of some. Uh, we play in Orlando with uh, Elton John and Venus Williams. We replay a battle of the sexes, and uh, he was trying to ace me, and he kind of 
couldn't, so <laughs> I was able to to play some winners at him, and he was not happy. So I kind of teased him a bit, but uh, this time it would be the same side of the net, which would make it easier. But uh, he's very funny, and I love him definitely. A little bit of a challenge there, Andy. Watch out! I know Serena's challenging Roddick. Now we have Marion challenging him. What do you think about the Australian Open? I mean, that was a great event for Stanislas Warinka, and uh, you know, really good event. What were your thoughts? Absolutely. Uh, you really had two different events into once. First of all, they had the heat wave, which was absolutely brutal for the players. Many players finish really in bad shape elsewise, which is uh, kind of hard to watch from outside. As um, past tennis players, I know how they fell on the court. And then my best friend, Dominika Sibulkova, was able to uh, live her dream and go all the way to the finals. I was so super excited for her. I'm flying to Bratislava, which is her place in Slovakia next Monday. Um, to kind of assisting her in a special event to launch her fashion line, so I'm really happy and excited. And obviously Stan is living 10 minutes from my home in, in Geneva, Switzerland, so uh, everything was just about friendship and friendly, and I love Rafa as well. Um, so I, I really agree with Sam, it's a very different spirit and feeling. No really kind of heaven have this kind of feeling throughout the years. It's very special to be a Grand Slam champion. And Nina to get her trophy finally, I think, was also a good story. Unbelievable. Now, how can fans keep up with you? Like, you know, where are you right now? How can they follow you on Twitter? And what else do you have going on? Yes, Twitter. Uh, my new website is going to be launched very quickly where they will be able to purchase the wings. My wings collection is called Wing Insta. And um, I will have also different fashion accessories. I have my charity, my foundation, the Marion Bartoli Foundation. Um, probably become an ambassador of uh, UNESCO at the end of this year. So very a lot of things going on, and um, I might do something very crazy in August. Wow! Watch out! Yeah, August is big. Yeah. U.S. Open time. Yeah. So it's gonna come up soon uh, on my Twitter. You will be the first one to know. But something really, really, really crazy is coming in August. Oh, I cannot wait! And hey, Richard Sherman, watch out because we have wings for you from Marion Bartoli. They might go viral here. <laughs> Absolutely. The CD might go green. Ooh, we heard it. Marion Bartoli, the newest New Yorker, also Wimbledon champion Harry Chickmaw, alongside the star in New York City at the Super Bowl.